Right, so I come from uh, Provence in southern France, and then uh, members of my family have always been vangorous since uh, ever. As, long, as far as we can go back into the past, we've been vangorous and winemakers. And uh, I grew up on the, on the family vineyard in, in, in southern France, and there was uh, several generations there. You know, my, uh, my father, my parents, my grandparents, and also my great grandmother. Um, that was back in the 60s. So back then, you know, the traditions were much more alive than they are now. So I grew up in this environment of traditional agriculture. But in the 70s I went to school and started to learn about uh, conventional and chemicals and pesticides and you know, chemical fertilizers. And I started working, uh, I started my career, you know, actually selling all those uh, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides to uh, vangors in Switzerland. And then um, after a few years of that, uh, I started to having health problems and the doctor told me that I was actually ingesting all, all this chemical through my skin and I had to stop doing that otherwise you know I, would, I could certainly get very sick and, and poison myself. And then uh, in 1986 um, I moved to Pennsylvania in a Camp Hill village where they were offering a three years training class, training course in biodynamics because biodynamics is uh, somehow part of it comes from the past you know what our ancestors were doing by instinct is done now in a, with a different uh, way. We have to relearn uh, intellectually and reconnect to the land. Since the beginning of time, you know, life on Earth has been ruled by rhythms. The rhythms we use are actually just part of nature, you know. I mean, the goal of Banamix is to reconnect the soil and the plants and the animals and the people to their mother, the earth. So we, what's happening in the Banamic vineyard is exactly what is happening, for instance, in the forest or in the wood. You know, man does not interfere anymore, or as little as possible. You know, we let nature take its course. Here we're sitting in a, in a laboratory which is called a sensitive crystallization laboratory. Um, this lab is pretty unique in America. Um, we got the crystallization of soil of our vineyard in Soledad, which is called the Cadel Solo Vineyard. So you have um, a, a center of crystallization, which is kind of powerful um, and organized. And then the neighbor, another neighbor, which is a conventional vineyard, right here. And when it's dark like that, it means there is an absence of crystallization. You know, there's a very, very uh, weak crystal on here, which is poorly organized. You know, an absence means an absence of energy field or life and organization forces. That means that that soil has been depleted from its energy. In that case here, you know, you can see that it's way more regular. It's not divided in two, and it's also very centered. So there is no depletion, depletion caused by the chemicals because they are not here. How do we get uh, terroir in the wine? How, what, what is it that we call a terroir wine? Well, first of all, we need to know that in order to get a sense of terroir, we should leave the vines, explore the soil as deep as they can. In conventional agriculture, for instance, we feed the, we feed the vines with chemicals. And then uh, when you do that, where you prevent the vines from, you know, digging deep into the soil, from, you know, getting very deep into the soil, because you already feed them and water them. So why would they do it, you know? Basically, we can say that the vines are becoming lazy. In most uh, European um, countries, we can't irrigate, it's forbidden, and in most places, we don't have the water, we don't have the structure for irrigation, so we don't irrigate, and we've never been doing it. So the vines are going very, very deep into the soil. Sometimes you can find roots at 400 feet deep into the ground. So it's only in that case that the wine coming from these fruits growing on you know, such a land will reflect the individuality. So basically what you want is you want to taste the soil in your wine. And that is what we call terroir.